People living in Strawberry Point are excited about a new shop that's moved into what was an empty storefront. In tonight's Show You Care Spotlight, KCRG TV 9's Josh Scheinblum shows us how that new business is filling a void. A giant fruit is for most what comes to mind when they think of Strawberry Point. <laughs> There's a new business downtown hoping to be another fixture this small community is known for. All right, and yeah. what, what are you putting on those? Just the uh, price and the size. Welcome to the mini mall on Main, a thrift store with an eclectic selection of what can feel like, well, everything. We're a thrift store and more is what I say. You find clothes, household items, and we also offer gifts. We have locally handmade gifts that people have made, wood crafts and other um, crocheted items. Since the mini mall opened its doors in June, they've That's already nice picked up a following. Oh, this is my second time here. Yeah, I enjoyed it the first time. I found a couple of good deals. You can credit a big part of their yep. success. We'll take some more things. To the hard work of Jane Spargrove. Jane Spargrove is a saint in this area. She's the best boss I've ever had. An so entrepreneur who's shop. put in place a unique business model profits are to be used to help those in need. This year I'd say we're going to be reaching about 100 families. And the money that's made goes to support another operation in Strawberry Point. This one is also run by Jane and it's called Carol's Closet. And we um, get donated clothes and other baby essentials and then we are able to um, give them out for free. We also, um, for the seniors and veterans, we have um, essential products they need. They've donated clothes for my children and actually the shirt that I'm wearing today is donated by them. Marine Corps veteran David Garlow is among those who've experienced the mini malls impact. I'm disabled right now. My wife is in nursing school, so she's only working two days a week. So anything that they give us, we appreciate. Jane believes helping those like Garlow has been a team effort. We just hope that we'll get more volunteers. You might say what Jane really wants is for this community to be a place with a big strawberry that folks remember for their even bigger hearts. We're doing good things at Strawberry Point. In Strawberry Point, Josh Scheinblum, KCRG, TV9 News.